Hello and welcome to the Forgotten City. Hello. The many shall suffer Did I take it? Nope. for the sins of the one. Nope. I have to jump. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Okay, we have to run. We have to run. Jump. Okay, so as usual, jumping saves lives. Oof. We have to run to the temple. We have to rewind time again. Oh my goodness. Nope. Miss me, miss me, miss me. Ooh, okay, we're doing. <laughs> I have a feeling that there's no way you can win an argument with him. He's just way too stubborn and he's been among humans for way too long. That's all. But I wonder, does will this really work for him? This re time rewind? Unload that, please. Great, thanks. I got hit because the game cheated. There we go. I could have used that zip line, but never mind. He's not over there anyway. There should be one like right here. <gasps> God damn it, really? Okay, but we should be safe. No, I don't remember there being any other statues. What? Why did you do that? What the hell? Get in here. Please? Okay. I'm glad it worked. Um, I'm a little Stop. busy. Need to get back up there. Come on, get up. So what's left is I took the crown, didn't I? I didn't. I did. I... Okay, I'm fairly sure I did take that crown, that's why it took me so long to do that. Okay, there's the only thing I hope is that I, I have the crown, because I remember taking it. I especially went back for it. <laughs> uh, never mind then. I'm not gonna talk to you. Gonna load up again. Okay. Pluto. A Hades. Osiris.
and Narco. And here you allow me to introduce but the one and I and what but there will be time for your rest. first as a reward. Good. Only it seems okay. something is wrong. It is lost in a oh. carrot. Uh. You would have us believe that my servant merely forgot bringing you here. Wait, I didn't take the crown? Uh, I arrived here in about 2,000 that years. That is true. Then How did you come? I don't know. I was hoping... Uh. Okay. Tread lightly. Enough. Why have you... Go. You know, you will remain here as... You know, you will... Ha. Okay... Why? The many shall suffer I did take the, the crown. Sins of the one. God damn it, of course. I took Revine Time and should Pluto have Persepina's crown. I no, I have no idea why it didn't work. Oof. Wait, 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 wait. Right time, I should put it have Persepina's crown. So, why it didn't work? Oh, I'll get hit one more time, I guess. Ah. I have it with me, don't I? Oh, right, I could have used that again. Am I healing? I don't think so. Yes, I am. God damn it. Hmm. Mm, this is aggravating. <laughs> really. Why it didn't work? Can I use the crown? Maybe I can use the crown. Hmm. I was supposed to rewind time. I did rewind the time. And yet the crown is why is it so dark? Thank you. Infantry. Wolf of bread. Spinner's crown. I can't use it. So Okay, so the game broke! Why? I don't know whether I can make it past this guardian. Maybe I can. I kinda did. <laughs> nope, don't fall down. Don't fall, don't fall down. I'm gonna save here. Because I'm safe here. Will it work this time? Maybe I didn't take the crown after all. We will see. Okay, I have it now. Yes, 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 uh, I'm busy. Thank you very much. Do I still have the crown? Really, I'll. Yep, I have the crown now. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. 
So hopefully this is the last time we have to talk with him. But she grew awfully silent. For the last time, there should have been an, ar an archer in here since there's a loading screen. Just saying. We go. I hate this. Osiris. And an Argo. Hmm. Hieroglyphs, kinda. I guess they... It influence... Every... written language. Allow me to introduce myself. No yes, I know. The one, and I've been watched. And what is more, that there will be time for, first, as a re See this? It's Proserpina's crown. I, I would recognize that anywhere. And yet my beloved still wears hers. What is this? How did you come by it? I took it from her after I killed her in another timeline. You vile, despicable creature. Why would you do so? That wasn't my intention. Worse still, boast about it. Uh, I didn't want to kill her, but if you don't put an end to the golden rule, I will do it again. No, I won't. You, you have put me in an impossible position. If I refuse, you will murder her. And yet, if I agree, I will lose my wager and return to Elysium, humiliated and alone. Well, what's it... what it's going to be? I do not see that I have a choice in this. Your treachery and savagery have opened my eyes like nothing I have witnessed kill, kill in 3,000 years. And now you have shown me your species' true colors. And I see that Proserpina was a fool to have ever believed in you at all. This has gone on too long. It's time for me to let go of this form, of her, of all of you. But know this, if I abandon the way and leave for Elysium, neither she nor your kind may ever ascend. Why can't we go to Elysium? Because despicable creatures like you have no place there. My kin would never allow it. The best I can do is return you to the land of the living. I will have Charon make arrangements to ferry the others. But as for you, be aware you will be separated from the rest. Why? Once this exodus begins, the events that brought you to this moment will never have taken place, and you will have created a paradox. What will become of you is difficult to predict, but that is the risk you have taken by interfering in the natural flow of time. Now, are you ready? I'm ready. You would best pray our paths never cross again, mortal. Hi. Hello. Oh. Uh, hi there. Gave me a bit of a fright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. A wolf. I came in here to find you. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. 
I'm Evna. Uh, I was hoping you'll know who I am. Know who you are? I barely remember how I got here myself. Oh, did that lady in the forest send you in here after me? I guess I lost track of time, learning about the history of this place, and it is extraordinary. I'm fairly certain you and I are the first people to set foot in this city for about 2,000 years. Fortunately for us, the last person in here was a Roman man named Galerius, who inscribed an account into a tablet. Apparently, there was a community of 20-something people trapped in here, and living in fear of a curse they called the Golden Rule. They believed that if even one person sinned, an unknown god would cast them all into gold, like the thousand people who'd lived here before them. Then, one day, just as Galerius had finished praying for a good harvest at the Shrine of Proserpina, an oracle appeared, said barely a word, and entered the temple of the mysterious god, this one here, and demanded an audience. And the doors just opened up to her. Nobody knows what went on in there, but Galerius wrote the oracle must have been more persuasive than Odysseus, because the next thing he knew, the ground shook, and the voice of that god rang out over the city. The many have suffered long enough. Unfortunately, Galerius' account just sort of stops after that, leaving a lot of questions unanswered. What became of him, and the other people who lived here? What happened to all the golden statues? And did this mysterious oracle single-handedly undo the curse that had terrorized people for hundreds of years? Sounds a bit far-fetched. I don't know, it reads like an earnest account to me. Anyway, I think I found a way out through the aqueduct that brought water into the city. Follow me. I'm right behind you. Sun, finally. I'm going to pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever lured into this temple. All right. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. Oh, just like he said, we're kinda back among the living. Since the only person I saw is that another dead man. I don't trust him too much. But you should recognize me now. You're back! But... you're alone. Does that mean you didn't find Al? I found him. Oh, what a relief! Thank you so much! I was beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. I, I, hmm. I discovered you're not who you said you were. I remember meeting you 2,000 years ah, ago. I see. I thought you might. Well, now you know. I suppose you have questions. I know you can just you are. call me Charon, if you like. I am sorry I was not completely honest with you when we first met. I do not enjoy deceiving people. Believe me, I do not. But I have learned, from 5,000 years of experience, that most people find comfort okay, yep. what? that you died of my rule as How did I die? Most ask I won't ask know. You a new you there was he died <laughs> What's so special about this coins? The old bills? Why? Oh. I see no point in keeping you here. But I have to ask one thing. That you keep this to yourself. Look! Here comes Al now! Al! It's so good to see you! You were gone so long I- Kinda lost track of time in there. And there was a tablet to- Sounds like quite a story. You two- Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? Why do you look so worried? But we've done it! I hope we've done it.
Oh, okay, it is different. Hey, you made it. It's great to see you again. I read your book, and what the critics said about it. I guess they weren't ready for your theories about the underworld. Anyway, after everything you've been through, I thought you might appreciate some good news. So after we got back to the real world, I started doing some research into the people mentioned in Galerius's tablet, and I found something strange. I'm sorry I've been so cryptic. I've been dying to tell you, I just really wanted you to see this for yourself. Why don't you head on down there? I'll catch up with you at the other end. You're finally here! Remember me? No, <laughs> what are you doing here? It's a crazy story. After you disappeared, Karen appeared and told us she was returning us to the world. Even gave us some coins to help us start our lives over. Only, for some reason, she returned us to your world instead of ours. Anyway, I know we only ever had that one conversation, and I wasn't even sure if you'd remember me, but I wanted to say thanks for freeing us from the underworld and giving us a second chance at life. What are you doing with yourself these days? Oh, I used Karen's gift to buy a farm in Umbria. Got a villa on it too, with enough room for Dooley, of course. It's hard work, but I sleep soundly every night. I'm finally my own man, and I... I wouldn't change it for the world. You're with Equisha now? I know! I can't believe my luck either! But we're engaged and living together. We're planning to get married next spring. If you're gonna be around, we'd love to see you there. I would love that. Come in. It was good seeing you of again. Of course. There's a whole museum full of people waiting for a chance to thank you. So you better keep moving. We'll speak again soon, my friend. You're here. It's lovely to finally meet you. Galerius told me all about you. Good to see you too. So, you're the hero who somehow vanquished the last of the Roman gods. As I'm a priestess, you realize you've put me out of work. I'm just teasing. Actually, and it still feels a little sacrilegious to say this, I'm finding life after religion quite enjoyable. What are you doing with yourself these days? Galerius and I are engaged and expecting. We've just bought a lovely villa in the countryside with room for a large family and Dooley too, of course. It feels like the world has just opened up for us. There's so much to learn and so many more possibilities for our children than we ever imagined. We're just so thankful for what you did for us. For all of us. How's Livia? Oh, it's sweet of you to ask. She recovered nicely. In fact, she's here somewhere. If you'd like to ask her yourself. I'll do that. It was good to see you see again. You at the wedding, I hope. Oh, hello. Hello, Dooley. Hello. I'm Dooley. I remember who you are. Galerius said you're very nice and a big helper. Thank you for getting us out of the bad place. I didn't like it. What are you doing with yourself these days? I live at Galerius and e Equitia's house. They look after me now and help me remember when I forget things, like brushing my teeth. I'm sorry to never find your treasure. Treasure? Oh, I forgot about that. I like my box now. Galerius got me a box that tells stories. It's my favourite thing. I am glad you're happy. Bye bye. Hey. Hi there, I'm Horatius. Hi. I understand we have you to thank for giving us a second chance at life. And reuniting Santilla with us as well. So, thank you. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living up north. And studying in the military academy in Modena. I'm going to be an officer one day. The world's changed a lot. But some things stay the same. Would you believe we're still studying military tactics from my time? Alexander the Great, Caesar, Hannibal Barker. Still, I have to keep challenging myself to let go of old ways of thinking and embrace the new. 
as Seneca wrote, the ones who pioneered our paths aren't our masters, but our guides. I'm sorry never got to see your girl again. Oh, you remembered that. Thank you. I grieved for a time, but that's done. In the words of Epictetus, as those who rode behind triumphant generals remind them they are mortal, remind yourself your precious one isn't one of your possessions, but something given for now, not forever. Well said. Thanks. Oh, and I don't know if you've heard, but a few of us are going for drinks later. It'd be nice to um, chat with you some more. Sounds good. Great. Whatever happened to your buddy Demetrius? He's not my... Oh, I see what you did there. Good one. He had more trouble adapting than most. He got himself disqualified from the UFC. So he started some kind of underground blood sport tournament. Like we had in Rome. Suppose it appealed to people's baser instincts. And they say he made some good coin, killing a bunch of men like that. But his luck finally ran out. And his life along with it. You know what they say. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Sounds like he got what he deserved. You're not wrong. See you at drinks later, I hope. I take it you're the Oracle. Thanks for coming. Good to see you again. Actually, I changed my name to Cynthia. I didn't want to be associated with Sentius after what happened. I'm not sure if you heard, but after you drove Pluto off, Proserpina emerged from the Great Temple. She knew right away what none of us had figured out about that psychopath. He'd been keeping my little sister locked up in the upper cistern all that time. But he's been dealt with. He's... Uh, you know what? The important thing is, we'll never see him again. What are you doing with yourself? Anything oh. I want. I'm a woman of means in a vast new world. I can go wherever and do whatever I please. Of course, I mostly just stay in my villa and have my servant Alexa summon things for me. Because it's just awful out there. Barbarians everywhere. What happened to Sentius? He's still there, all alone. The last golden statue in the underworld. Trapped in a metal shell, slowly losing his mind until the end of time. Eternal torment. Just what he deserves, if you ask me. Good. You too. See you around. You are here. It's nice to finally meet you. Hey, Lucy is fine. Lucy. I'm making an effort to blend in, as you can see. We are all trying to keep a low profile. If the world knew we died 2,000 years ago and were suddenly brought back to life 12 months ago, they'd never leave us alone. Speaking of which, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'd say the gods smile on you, but I hear you drove the last of them off. So... What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm studying to get into medical school. As much as I resented the responsibility of keeping everyone in the city alive, when it ended, I realized I missed it. So I guess I'll just keep saving the world, if begrudgingly, one patient at a time. Where's Julia? Oh, ah, uh, she didn't make it. She died from poison while you were in the Great Temple. It was very sad. She was a good woman and a friend. And uh, that's because I didn't say and oh no. It wasn't your fault. Decius is to blame. He's here somewhere too. Not that anyone would talk to him. I'm not even sure how he got invited. Okay, good to see you. You too. Don't be a stranger. <laughs> yeah, that's all of our fault. Fortunately. Greetings. You must be the legendary oracle. It is a sincere privilege to finally make your acquaintance. I am Georgius. Good to see you. I am told we have you to thank for freeing us from Hades. And for that, I am most grateful. What are you doing with yourself these days? I am reacquainting myself with Greece. It has changed so much over the last 2000 years, I barely recognize it. This is at once heartbreaking and thrilling. Perhaps one day, 
Once I have seen all of this new Greece and sampled her delights, I will settle down in Sandorini in a villa overlooking the Azure Aegean Sea. I hope you will join me there and regale me with the story of how you faced off against the fearsome god of the underworld and won. And sit down me there. Whatever happened to Fabia? Ah, the poor sweet thing. Perished in a shrine collapse before the rest of us were saved. It is the one regret I have in all this. I'm sorry to hear that. You too, my friend. I may go back. Luckily, I saved after. Okay, I think I saved after. Receiving the crown. I take it you're the oracle everybody's talking about. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Uh, we've met before, though I wouldn't expect you to remember it. We have. I'm sorry, I don't remember. In any case, I'm Philip. I never thought I'd leave that cave, let alone the city. And now I'm living in the 21st century. What a time to be alive. And it seems I have your catabasis to thank for it. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm working as a consultant to the Faculty of Classics at Cambridge University, helping fill the odd gap in their knowledge. Not that I need the money, but I do love being around enlightened minds again. My sincere thanks once again. Magnificent museum, is it not? Oh, hello. It's lovely to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Nice to see you. I'm thankful that you're here. I was sure the person who drove off the last pagan god would have more important things to do than visit the likes of us. But thank you for coming and for saving our lives. What you did was extraordinary and I'll never forget it. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living in Rome again, in a charming little flat by the Tiber. I'm not far from my old place. Oh, and I'm training to be a crisis counsellor. After we lost Olpius, I spent a lot of time reflecting on what I could have done differently. I couldn't shake the feeling that if I'd just found the right words, he'd still be with us today. In the end, I decided to devote the rest of my life to helping others like him. It wasn't your fault. So I'm told, and I know that rationally. Maybe someday I'll leave it I really want to go too. back and do the things right. And you. Really? Good evening. How are you? Some soiree, innit? Oh, it's you. Ah, oh, hello at last. You must be the oracle I've heard so much about. I'm Dacius. Hi. Listen, I wanted to express my sincere appreciation for what you did. If it wasn't for you, I'd never been able to sell all those useless old relics I accumulated. Whatever you did in that temple made me a very wealthy man. Thank you. You're welcome. It was entirely unintended. Such a cervic wit. I love it. What are you doing with yourself these days? I took the money I made from selling my trinkets and started investing in the stock market. That's where the real money is now. In fact, I was hoping to ask your advice, you being the oracle and future seer and all that, on which stocks I should invest in next. I can't decide between fossil fuels, tobacco, gambling and arms. What would you recommend? I can't... I wouldn't help you even if I could. Oh, don't be like that. You can tell your old pal Dacius. I won't take no for an answer. Oh, of course. Whatever. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. I'll go home and buy up as much stock as I can tonight. I'm going to make a bloody fortune. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Don't let me keep you. Thanks again for the tips, my friend. Greetings. Good to see you looking well, Olivia. Thank you for your kind words and for liberating us all. In all the time I was in the underworld, I never once imagined that I might end up in a place so much like Elysium. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm recovering. Octavia was kind enough to let me stay with her for a while. At least until I'm well enough to be independent again. Read any good poems lately? Ah, you remember that. I'm a little tired of Ovid, but that's all right. I have 2,000 years worth of poetry to catch up on now. I'm already up to the 19th century and am quite enjoying the work of a fellow named Poe. 
I think I may have found a kindred spirit. Men have called me mad, but the question is not yet settled whether madness is or is not the loftiest intelligence. Well said. It was good seeing you again. And you. Farewell, friend. It is an honor to finally meet you, Oracle. Thanks. You know my name? Oh, of course. You are an Oracle. You know many things. I too would like to offer my thanks for releasing us from that place and for your role in bringing us here. This world is truly wondrous. What are you doing with Cell these days? For a time, I returned to Alexandria, but they have no need of another fisherman, and I came to see there is nothing for me there. Instead, I have decided to follow the custom of your youths and backpack the world. It is a great adventure and I have met many people from many cultures. I spent the first 25 years of my life avoiding the 42 sins that would deny me access to the afterlife. Now, I think it is time I had some fun. Sounds like you've earned it. Indeed. It was good seeing you again. Thank you, Oracle. Hello there. Hi, Santa. Oh, I go by Gabriella now. I didn't want to be reminded of that monster every time I heard my own name. After you drove Pluto off, Proserpina came and released me, and that monster got what was coming to him. I'm sorry, I have no idea. Don't worry, nobody did. What are you doing with yourself these days? I'm living by myself on a little vineyard in Umbria. It's something Olpius and I used to talk about doing when we got out. And I thought that's what he would have wanted. But it's been... hard. I don't know what I'm doing. And it's just not the same without him. Mostly, it just reminds me he's gone. I'm sorry to hear oh, that. It's hardly your fault. I'll be alright. In time. It was good to see you again. Thanks. I'm definitely... You too. <laughs> saving. Saving them. It's so nice to finally meet you. I've heard so much about you. Good to see you, Virgil. I wanted to thank you personally for getting us out of there. What are you doing with all these days? I'm studying to be an architect again and living in a beautiful flat in Rotterdam, just down the river from Nijmegen, where I grew up. Of course, it's improved immensely since I was there last. Gleaming futuristic buildings and clean streets full of educated accepting people. You natives of the 21st century have no idea how fortunate you are. Not for long. <laughs> it was good to see you Little, again. If you're ever in the Netherlands, I'd be happy to show you around. It's the least I could do. I may just take up take you up on that. But we haven't seen Maleolus. Or Claudia at all. There you are. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's one more person I wanted to introduce you to. I think you know her. <laughs> Sorry if I frightened you. Just a little joke I've been saving for a long, long time. I recognize that voice. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I am Proserpina, former goddess of the cycle of life and renewal, and now a regular mortal. I wanted to meet you in person, and thank you for freeing all these people and me. I hate to think what would have happened to us without your intervention. You were whispering to me all along. Indeed. Suffice it to say that while Pluto was controlling the eyes and ears of each golden statue, I was able to control their tongues and whisper to you when he was distracted. I am sorry my messages were so cryptic. There were only ever brief windows in which I could speak to you without being detected. You did what you could. Thank you. You created the time loop? I did. I may have given up my immortality, but I still retain my gifts as the goddess of a cycle of life and renewal. After witnessing Pluto punish countless poor souls over thousands of years, 
I knew this generation, the final wave, would not survive. So I tried to give them a way to buy more time. A second chance. Rather as many second chances as they needed to avoid his wrath. What became of Pluto? I don't know what happened to him. I haven't heard from him. And I rather hope it stays that way. What became of Karen? Oh, she inherited dominion over the underworld. Last time we spoke, she was working on a new world of some kind. She wouldn't say what it was. But I'd be surprised if you don't run into her again. I imagine we all will. One day. It was nice meeting you. And you. Although it feels like I've known you forever. Oh, and one last thing. Do you remember all those golden statues scattered throughout the city? Yes. Good. Because they remember you. No. Well done, my friend. Of all the heroes who ever turned to the underworld in return, none came close to achieving what you did. Oh, that's me! Hercules, Orpheus, Theseus, and Aeneas would be proud. But we are going back to save Ulpius, uh, Yulia, and whoever else we can. So, for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!